Paladin. Do you want to have that talk now? Does it have anything to do with the Brotherhood? I wouldn't necessarily say that. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met, and I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, I don't think I needed to push so hard. You worried that I'm gonna quit? No. I just felt it was the right thing to do. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Krieg. Toughest squad leader I ever served with. He was a model soldier, embodying the values every trainee was striving to achieve. Fiercely loyal, secure in his beliefs, and brave to a fault. From the moment I was assigned to his squad, I was singled out. It felt like he was pushing me harder than the rest of the team. I fought by his side for years. And we had some seriously close calls. But he never explained to me why I was treated that way. I'm sure he had his reasons. If he had, I never discovered them. After I was promoted to Paladin, and I'd moved on to my own squad, I received word that Krieg was killed at Adams Air Force Base. The news was like being kicked in the stomach. I mean, I'd lost some of my brothers and sisters before, but his death... Well, it really got to me. It's taken me a long time to realize it. But the reason Krieg was so tough on me is the same reason I'm so tough on you. It's because I believe in you. And I don't want to see any of your potential go to waste. What happened at Adams Air Force Base? Back in the capital wasteland, the Brotherhood was at war with a traitorous group of rebels who called themselves the Enclave. They maintained a mobile command post at the remains of Adams Air Force Base, just outside of Washington, D.C. The Brotherhood spearheaded an assault on the command post, which was ultimately successful, but costly. Quite a few soldiers died in that battle, and Paladin Creed was among them. He made his mark on history, and whether you choose to believe it or not, you have the potential to do the same. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. Well, I've said what I had to say, and I hope that it meant something to you. I trust you'll keep this in confidence, of course. Some of that information was of a personal nature, and, well, I'd like to keep it that way. Hey. Where do you want me? Paladin. There's still that off-the-record matter I'd like to discuss. Do you have time now? Off-the-record? That's not like you, Dance. Which is why this is going to be difficult to say. So, I'd appreciate it if you bear with me. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience. For both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. You're beating around the bush. Is there something you're trying to tell me? Is it that obvious? I've never been very good at these things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I'm glad you had greater ambitions than just selling junk. Once I saw what the Brotherhood had to offer, there was no comparison. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing. But I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to... 
put him down. You did the right thing. It's what I was taught. I don't know if it was right. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. Well, there goes my dream of being reborn as a super mutant. <laughs> Glad to have changed your mind. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. <clears throat> Kid, I don't know who you are, but you better clear out before I go haywire and blast you. I don't want any trouble. I'm just passing through. Bullshit. No one comes out here. You can't lie to a synth, kid. We can hear it in your voice. What makes you think you're a synth? Blackouts. People I've hurt that I don't remember. Any second now, they might send some signal. Or I'll see the color orange. Or whatever it is they do and... Boom! One more dead fool. Now, are you gonna get out of here? Or wait for them to make me kill you? We're just talking, so why don't you just ease off the trigger there? Fine, but don't think this means you're welcome here. Got your looky-loo at the synth, ready to get out of here before they make me hurt you? Look, I just need a little while to catch my breath. Fine, there's a bed upstairs if you need it, but it's not safe to stick around here. Hey, out how to get out of it. Excuse me. Well, it was quite a feat to rescue Rex from those super mutants. I was just glad I got there in time. Oh, so am I. We should search this area carefully for any technical documentation or pre-war artifacts. 